close your eyes and watch your breath. Know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. And ask yourself what kind of breath would feel comfortable right now. Would long breathing feel good, or how about shorter breathing? Deeper or more shallow, heavier or lighter, faster or slower. All kinds of different ways you can breathe. So figure out which way feels best for you right now, most nourishing for the body. Relaxing when you're feeling tense, energizing if you're feeling tired. Because the breath is something that's free. You don't have to take it from anybody else. It's, it's, it's yours. And nobody else can force you to breathe in an uncomfortable way, so why let yourself do that? This is one way of showing goodwill for yourself, in a way that doesn't harm anybody at all. This is one of the things that's really special about the Buddha's teachings. He teaches us ways of finding happiness that don't have to take anything away from anyone else, which means that we can find a happiness that's not selfish. And it goes in the other direction as well. When you do go around helping other people, it's good for you. And when you help yourself, okay, that's going to be beneficial for others as well. Not only do you not take anything away from them as you're finding this happiness inside, but you also have more to offer. Fewer times of when you're feeling greed or aversion or delusion, or if you do feel them, you can keep them under control, which means that other people don't have to suffer from them. So in this way, by showing goodwill for yourself, you're showing goodwill for others. And when you show genuine goodwill for others, you're also showing goodwill for yourself. There's a lot of talk in this season about goodwill and peace. Where does it come from? It comes from knowing how to find happiness in a way that doesn't harm anybody. Because everybody talks about peace, so everybody in the world seems to want peace, and yet they're, at the same time they're trying to find happiness in ways that are taking things away. They want wealth, they want status, they want praise. And what usually happens is you gain something and somebody else has to lose it. And that leads to divisions, and of course that leads to conflicts in the world. That's why there's no peace in the world, because we're looking for happiness in ways that we can't share it. Or if you can share it, you can share it to only a, a tiny group of people around you. But the happiness that comes from training the mind, from learning how to be generous, from learning how to follow the precepts so that you're not harming anybody, the happiness that comes from training the mind through concentration and gaining insight into how you can find a deeper happiness inside, that doesn't cause any conflict at all in the world. And so this kind of happiness is congruent with peace. So when we talk about peace on earth, this is where you start. It's by learning how to find a happiness that doesn't have to take anything away from the people around you. It actually gives you more to share. When you find this kind of happiness inside, you feel more at peace. There's no reason to go out and get into, into conflicts with other people, because everything you need is right here inside. And it's all free. It's, no one has figured out a way to place a meter on your breath to charge you for your breathing at. So you're free to breathe as you like. So breathe in a way that feels really good. And try to keep in touch with that sense of healthy breath energy as you go through the day. Again, it helps you feel at ease. And when you're feeling at ease, then the decisions you make are going to come from an easeful and stronger position. So they're less likely to harm others. So if you want peace on earth, you have to know how to find happiness, find a sense of well-being in this way that's not going to cause any conflict at all. And this is where you start. You start with things that are right close to hand. This is where the Buddhist teachings aim, is your, your body and your mind, things that are right here. How do you take advantage of them so you can find something, a sense of satisfaction, a sense of well-being, a sense of being at home? Okay, it starts right here. So don't make your folk, when you talk about peace on earth, everybody thinks about the earth out there. Well, it starts on the earth in here, here in the body. Make sure that this world is in good shape, your mind is in good shape. And then the peace that you want in the outside world, that'll radiate out from you, which is the only place that it could come from anyhow. So let's start right here. 